Hello gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm, Fairy Vixen here back again with another video and I have some more of my handmade stuff. Um, yeah, tonight I didn't do anything, I just, I got a wedding to go to tomorrow and it's 3 a.m. and <laughs> I'm an idiot, apparently. Oh hey, this one I made with a graduated set of, um, amethyst beads that my great auntie had. And this was my grandmother's. It was on a charm bracelet. And I made earrings to match. This was one big long strand. So I made a choker and a bracelet and earrings from it. And these are all um These two are not, but these are all amethyst beads is, is, is. and sterling, of course, except for the seed beads at the end. Those are not sterling, but I had to do that because I wanted to have enough to do the other pieces of it, so I did the back where you don't really see it um, out of seed beads so I could do the whole thing and those are kind of one of my favorites and I had some other ones that I had restrung that were my were in my family but I've already given them given <coughs> given them to my daughter um, because you know just pass the stuff on Oh, here's some more Labradorite, of course. Here's just a pendant on a chain. You've seen that before as well. Sterling, sterling. Yay! And then... My layering ones that I made that I wear quite often. I have a lot of gray in my wardrobe and a lot of teal. So these guys are great with either. Yeah, I know I showed you these before. I wish I could, I wish I had put them all together, but I do kind of like to mix and match. Sometimes I wear the pendant with it and whatever, and I'd rather not have like all of the Labradorite on at once. Labradorite. I keep forgetting to put the, the O-R in there. Labrador, like the retriever. Labradorite. Yes, indeed, Elise. Okay. Oh, my. Here's the stuff I pulled out of my jewelry box. Yeah, baby. And here's the stuff that I've already lit. Let's see. Excuse me while I fight with the bag. Stuff all in the way and stuff. Get out of the focal area here, people. Okay. This one. Actually, these beads were a gift from... They were a free gift when I ordered from uh, 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 Fire Mountain Gems, which is a really great place to buy gem beads, gems, beads, glass beads, all kind of beads. If you're a bead whore, bead, beadaholic, sorry. Uh, oh, what the hell? What the heck? Oh, there we go. Yep, this is uh, Vermeer, and uh, yeah, these are all Vermeer. So I did gold with this one, and these are uh, really nice um, Cloisonne beads, and I don't know why they sent me those. They're really nice. 
I don't think they're painted. They may be, but I don't think so. Don't know. Don't think so. Very pretty. I finally made something with them. Like they've been sitting and sitting and sitting forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So. Ooh, I love this one too. This is one of my favorites and it's going to be hard to let go once it goes. Once it gets sold. This is. You can tell this is from before I had to sell off my, <laughs> my silver. This is fluorite and uh, solid sterling cube beads. They're all cubes. It's a nice choker, choker length. I had a bracelet to match it. It was really pretty, but my neighbor bought it. So there's that one. I don't have any much purple, so I don't really wear this one. I mean, I love purple. I think it's weird that I don't have any in my wardrobe, really. Just a, an oversight of some sort, I guess. I'm yawning again. Don't do that. Don't be yawning. Dang it. Back in here. This one is soda light and check glass. See the check glass in between with uh, little silver beads, sterling beads in between those. And the center centerpiece is this this uh, filigree silver bead. I like doing chokers for some reason. I do that 16 inch thing. Cause I don't know, I guess because I have a small neck and I really like to wear chokers. Well, at this point, well, back when I was making these, I liked them. I liked chokers best. But now, I've kind of learned to wear every kind of jewelry. So there's that one. I love these cobalt um, check glass beads. They're so pretty. Pretty, pretty. And then we have this little guy. This is a lighter grade of amethyst. And this one I made with pearls and a front clasp or a back clasp you could wear it either way um, with an amethyst and look I love these this is another one of those ones that you can feed the bead through see cool They feel really good. So that one's pearl, amethyst, and sterling. And it's got a little box clasp. Nine two five. There's that one. I don't wear that one either. That is why it is also listed. This one is Chilean Lapis, which is the one that has all the gray in it. Lots and lots of gray, a little bit of gray and white. Denim lapis. And this is also solid sterling. That's a heavy one. And yeah, it was made before the divesting of the silvers. So, 
That's a fun one with. That's a good one with jeans and a white, crispy white shirt. Got a bunch of earrings here too. I'm not much for making bracelets really. Uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm a necklace. I love necklaces. And this is. Quartz. With three drops. It's all cut quartz drops. And these are briolettes. This cut is called briolette. So I love the clasp on this one. Look at the fancy, fancy. Fancy! Isn't that cool? I also had a pair of earrings to go with this, but I sold those to a lady in Greece back when I first did Etsy. Sorry ladies, I do not sell internationally right now. Maybe down the road a piece I will, but I don't remember sending that to Greece being such a hassle like it is now. This one is called Kyanite. It's a striated blue stone. It's really good for uh, calming you. Calm. It's a calming stone. I made this for my boyfriend. Boyfriend. <laughs> He doesn't wear it now though. Yeah, what is on it? Yuck. That's weird. What the heck? Ew, it's got sticky stuff on it. What the heck? So yeah, it's just got a plain. I love toggles, so I guess you can tell. And I did this part with copper wire. It's real plain, but yeah, if you see this stone, this weird blue milky stone, that's what that is. It's called kyanite. And there's also a black kyanite. But I like the blue. The blue is very pretty. I'm not going to list that because that belongs to my friend. And here's another one that is um, boulder opal. The left leftovers from the the opal the opal mines mining. And there's no there's no fire left in these really. Uh, but generally, these little cracks will be uh, the blue um, opal, and it's there's su it's such a beautiful stone. I put this with copper because it just screamed for copper. Let me see if I can't find any blue. No, nope, there was like no blue left in these at all. Here's a little piece of red. You see that? There's a red and yellow spot in there, but there's no blue. So, yeah, that's a small one. I wear that one a lot. That's a good t-shirt length. Pretty, pretty. Boulder Opal. And this one is similar. It's a bracelet. And I just said I don't make bracelets. This is uh, Cappuccino Jasper. Isn't that cool? I love it. It's got this, this one's got green in it. It's really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. 
I think this gets mis mistaken for uh, Picasso Jasper sometimes. But this show is purdy. I'm getting really into copper lately. Like, because, well, yeah, because I had to get rid of all my... <laughs> I had to get rid of all of my silver. So copper stepped in to take its place. And there's another copper one. This is uh, a little longer than the other one. It's olivine. It's this dark. If you find this real dark green, almost black, it's, uh, wait, can I get this to show up the color it is? Uh, no, and no, then no, it does that weird thing. Never mind. Here, let me hold it up here. See, now you can see it a little. It's a real dark green. That's olivine. And I'm not 100% sure what this one is. I forget what I bought and what this is. Um, it might be tree agate. It's not moss agate. It's got too much other colors in it. But that's a, that's a really pretty one, too. With the copper. Mm-hmm. Yay, I'll put them away. And here, I forgot all about some of this stuff. This is a fun one that I wrap myself in copper, and I need to clean it. I need to, like, bleach it a little bit. This is made from a fox paw from Roadkill. So I needed to have that. I have like five more of them, but there I have to. I have to um, wrap them and make something out of them. And this copper wire is starting to get darkened, and I think the chain has a coating on it. So I might have to change out the chain so that it'll get nice and brown like this. Uh, yeah, people might think it's a little weird, but y'all know I love foxes, and this is kind of my lucky foxy foot, I guess you would say. Yeah, it's, uh, it was whiter, a lot whiter when I got it. It's aging into, like, a yellow. But that was just another experiment in wrapping. Not great, but, you know gotta practice or you don't learn anything. Ooh, here's a fun one. These, uh, uh let's undo the class. This is... Excuse me. This is black fiber optic, optic cat's eye with blingy little rhinestones. You can't really see the bling very well. It just looks polka dotted, but it's blingy. Let's see if I can get some sparkle going here. No, it doesn't even sparkle in that light. That's weird. I don't know why you would think with this light shining on it, you'd see a lot more sparkle. But anyway, it's, uh, they go down to about here, and then I have these beautiful pumice, volcanic pumice beads set with rhinestones. And I wish you could see the sparkle on these. This is a really classy, nice necklace. This is like power dressing. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. I actually love that a lot. I like it a lot. Here's one that was... I was watching TV when I made it. And this is, you know, just uh, glass. Glass and brass. And it has this, uh, what is that? Aventurine or whatever. 
uh, pendant on it, but I got I got it crooked because I was watching TV, so the clasp doesn't fall <laughs> where it should. It's off to one side. That was a man's necklace. But none of the mans want to wear it. Here's another one. This is all uh, check glass, faceted check glass, down to a malachite pendant. I love black and green together. They look so nice. Pretty, pretty. This is um, Victorian morning jet. Uh, beads and this one I did not make my hubby made this one we bought this strand of morning jet from my regular bead guy and uh, hubby put it together with this so that's a nice one lots of sterling on that one these little end caps are not sterling, but everything else is. It's kind of heavy because it's good. like jet. Jet is a very light bead. It almost feels like plastic. It's a lot like amber in the in the sense that you wouldn't think it was a stone, but it is. Um, it's very plasticky feeling. So there's that one, and a hubby made that one. And here's another hubby. <laughs> I bought this strand of goldstone at a yard sale ages ago, and he put it with copper beads and onyx. So that's a really nice one. And he also made... See? Yep, it's like every now and then, you know, he got tired of me sitting in here by myself doing the jewelry, and uh, so he decided that he would try it. Because he always liked to go into the bead shows, too. He really liked... He's a talker, and he likes talking to everybody. So, there's earrings. I think. Wait, I think I made the earrings. But look at that, look at that, old, these were definitely vintage, these, this, this copper colored gold stone. Gold stone now is very uniform, it doesn't have this swirly pattern like the old stuff does. So, yeah, if you see it like this, grab it, it's old. That was a really fun one. It's a weird length, I think. I don't, I don't wear it very often because it's a strange length. Don't tell Hobby I said so. <laughs> Alright, now, what's this? This is the last bit of the necklaces. I had to buy these peacock AB washed. Uh beads because I love anything with AB and I love black so I made several stacking necklaces or actually two stacking necklaces you can wear them together or separately and then uh, one, one of the a bracelet with the small square ones and then two bracelets with the regular one. This one has the, the square ones in between and this one is just plain and I have to restring these because I hang them like this and if you don't hang your jewelry right after you make it and leave it for a while your uh, 
your beading wire can stretch. So I hung these up and just didn't think anything of it and now they have stretched that much just from the weight of, of the beads hanging on them. And well this has two but you see the lighter the beads are the less it stretches. So yep that's a project I'm going to have to do but these are really fun to wear. I get compliments on these guys and they go with every stinking thing because black goes with everything and yeah rainbows pretty much go with everything. I, I'm one for wearing uh, solid colors a lot of the time so that my jewelry can shine or <laughs> Last time I went to the movies, I dressed all weird. I had about two tons of pearls on. One was a five strand at my neck. And then it was one of those long flapper ones. Um, and of course, you know how I wear my bracelets and stuff. Well, I did that and I was wearing a graphic tee with robot chicken on the front. And jeans and a pinstripe black jacket. So, yeah. I get funny looks sometimes, but I do not care because I like to I like to play with it because you know why not? <laughs> why the heck not? You only go around once, right? Well, according to most people. Um but yeah. <sighs> Good news. I am yawning. Um, there was something else I was going to say, and I can't remember what the heck it was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was good night. Maybe it was... I love you, ladies. And gents, because I always forget about the gents. Love you gents too. I, don't, I haven't noticed any gents in my uh, comments really though. Um, hopefully that'll that'll remedy itself somewhere down the line. Um, but I love you guys and wait, be yourself? No, don't be yourself yet. I got earrings. <laughs> Ooh, and bracelets. Here's some wire work that I actually liked that I did. And that's um, brass coated. It's coated brass wire so it doesn't get tarnishy. And that's just plain pink craft beads and uh, check glass. So that's a fun one. I like that one. And then there's this one that I like a lot. I did this one. I, I, uh, I made the hook. I made all the little danglies. These are onyx beads. And I did all of the links. This wire is so much easier to work with than the sterling that I've used. So you can kind of tell that the quality of this one is a lot nicer. Mm, not necessarily because I got better at it, but because the wire was kinder. And this, I think this was the first one I ever made that was wire work. So I wear those together. Aren't they cool? Those I like. Thems is cool. Oh, we're at 29. Okay, let's go fast. Malachite earrings that nobody in their right mind would ever wear, so they're going to get redone. Here is... Eh, don't do that. Why you do that? Here's some amethyst, which isn't quite as heavy, but it's also made with those uh, rainbowy beads, so I wear them with that a lot. Here is... Hey, she, red coral and onyx and sterling. 
They're my native looking ones. Um, here's some more craft glass stuff that I made. There's that, and then and I made little little necklaces to match each of these. Back when I was first starting out. And then this is from. I took a whole bunch of uh, charms and stuff. This is runes, and this is Celtic uh, knotwork. And I made a pair of earrings because they were similar sizes. So that's right in step with uh, with um, runway right now. It's wear different earrings. <laughs> One small, one large, usually, though. That's what I've noticed all the runway stuff is doing right now. But, yeah, here's those big, big mofos. So pretty. I like rocks. I like rocks. Rocks like me, usually. But did you ever pick up a rock and it just makes your hand feel weird? <laughs> Alright, so now I can say it. Be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye bye